Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my what I got for Christmas video. So I used to do these every year. I think this is my fourth video. I think it's my fourth. Um, but last year I didn't do one just because we had a few bits going on. We've quite recently moved. It was my first Christmas with my partner's parents and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't film this last year. So this is my kind of redo. So this is from Christmas 2020. Um, I haven't had my full Christmas yet. Um, I do want to put that out there. Like a lot of people in the UK, Christmas was cancelled or changed and we had loads of new things to kind of deal with. So we were lucky enough to be able to spend Christmas with my family in Yorkshire. So I have presents from family and friends in Yorkshire, um, but I have not been able to see any of my friends or my partner's family um, from down here in the south. So although this isn't kind of whole Christmas, I've got a decent amount of things to kind of show. Um, I just picked a few bits from what I'd got and I'm basically just going to pick them out of the box which is next to me. Um, there's no order to it, I'm just going to pick them up as they're kind of piled up in the box. So a few little disclaimers before we start. This is my first proper sit down video in the house. So I'm not sure how it's all kind of going to relay. Um, I'm using a new camera for, for me. I've got a new setup, which I've already realised I am way too beige for this setup. So I, I put this jumper on and my bedding's pink, but it just, it all blends together. And then obviously the wall is cream. So going forward, that is obviously going to change. Um, so that's one thing to kind of note, apologies for that. And the other thing is that we are literally right on the main road. So if you can hear cars going past, people talking, any of that kind of thing, I do apologise. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. This is my test to see if that's going to happen. Um, so there's that. And then the other thing is, I'm really sorry if my eyes keep flicking to the side. The viewfinder on this camera is at the side of the camera and not on the top. So it's probably going to be way more noticeable that my eyes keep moving. But I'm going to work on it. We're going to we're gonna try it. So yeah, that's kind of those bits settled for this, this video and I'm just gonna get straight into it. As always with this as well, little disclaimer, I am not bragging in any way, shape or form. These are just gifts that I am very, very fortunate to receive and I am also extremely fortunate to have been able to spend Christmas with my family this year. So if I'm honest, the biggest gift this year was just being able to spend time with my family. We've not seen them a lot this year because of all the restrictions. So that was kind of the biggest gift. But yeah, these are the other bits that I got. Not bragging, just showing. Okay, so the first thing which is on the top of this pile is some gels. So I started doing my own nails a while ago now and I've kind of just started to get really into it myself. And I do kind of like build a gel overlays and all that kind of stuff. And there was just a few things that I was running out of. Um, and these are my first ones for myself. I'm actually borrowing a lot of what I use from my friend. So I got four gels. I got a rubber base, a clear liquid builder gel and a high shine non-wipe top coat. I also got the Cans builder gel um, but I used that yesterday so that's no longer in the pack. Uh, the gels that I use are all Premier Gel. I really really like these. They work really well. I believe they're non or low toxic and they're also cruelty free and to be honest the price is really really good they always always have a sale on and it's just really handy um so yeah so that was a gift from my parents which i asked for so thank you very much next in the pile is something that i'm quite excited about and it was kind of a last minute present i believe from brad my boyfriend the light is really bright okay apologies for that i'm using natural lighting which is why there's this block here but anyway I think that's a bit better um so yeah this was a last minute present from my boyfriend Brad and it's kind of for both of us to use and I'm really excited about it I've already used it a few times it takes quite a while to get used to you might notice quite a bit of movement in some of my videos including like well especially vlogs um but he got me a oh my gosh what is this called it begins with a g a gimbal I think it's called a gimbal. Um, so yeah, this is the Osmo gimbal. It's basically, you put your camera, well your phone on it, 
and you turn it on and it links up via Bluetooth and it stops so much movement in your phone. So if I was holding something, I'd constantly be kind of moving and jigging everywhere and in a car it would like bounce. Whereas if you use this, it stabilizes it, which is really cool. Uh, so this is a really cool present that we have played with a little bit, but we're gonna play with it a bit more kind of throughout the year. And I'm really excited about this. and I'm excited to see kind of how it changes my videos. Okay, so there was a bit of a theme to some of my presents this year, and that is because every year we write a list of what we actually want for Christmas. That way it just stops unnecessary spending and it stops things that might go to waste or we won't use and just all that kind of stuff really. I don't want my family to waste their money on things that I don't necessarily want or need um, and, and vice versa. So this year I asked for some Lush products to be able to use in the bath and you know my, my family and friends really came through. So this big box is from <laughs> my brother and his girlfriend. All Lush products, smells incredible. Um, so there's a couple of like loose products in here. So I've got the Little Mermaid um, bubble bar. I don't know how to focus on this camera, especially when I've only got one hand, but yeah, I've got the Mermaid bubble bar. That's actually just been melting in my hands a little bit. I also got the Little Polar Bear. Let me put this down and try and focus. I can't focus, I've tried. So yeah, little polar bear. Um, and I think there might be one other loose product in here, but I'm not gonna go through because I've got stuff all over my fingers already. Um, so let me pop this back down. And then also in that box, but what I also got from a friend is the Christmas little gift box. So my brother got, my brother and his girlfriend Gemma got me one. Um, and then my friend Carrie Ann got me one as well. And this is one of the things that you can never be annoyed about getting more than one of because I will use it like, okay, girls, hear me out. I've had a lot of baths in 2020, a lot. And the main reason for that is that there is no in-person football matches happening, which means that there is football on in my house at least once a week, if not twice. And I'm not really a football fan. So I will either come upstairs and do my nails if they need doing, or I have a bath and I've had a lot of baths and <laughs> um, I'd started to run out of these things so it just makes sense for me to have more. So in this little box, take it up a little bit, um, but it thankfully has a little card in it. So there is a butter bear, which is a bath bomb. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, which is a bath bomb. Um, and TikTok, which is also a bath bomb. Um, all three of those things are vegan, which is so good because I mainly use vegan products now. Oh, there's also a snowman dreaming in there as well, uh, which is a bath bomb. So this is just a really big bath bomb pack. So I'm so excited for that. There's a few bits in there that I am dying to use. Um, so I've got a really good setup of bath bombs now. I've got a couple of bubble bars as well, like I showed you from my brother's pack. Um, and then I also picked up a few bits in the sales, but that will be in another video and yeah i just i love stuff like this so thank you so much uh josh Gemma, and carry on so while i was on the lush theme i thought i'd mention the two other things that i've been saving to do this video um these are both off my friend carry on again um i got another mermaid tail bubble bar so i have two of these now it's pretty much perfect for me if you know me you know that i love mermaids and i love baths so this is kind of just the perfect all-around present so again not mad about having two of those at all they will both definitely get used. Um, and then the other thing that Carrie Ann got me, which I'm really, really excited about, is the Lush Mask of Magnanimity. Magnanimity? Mag Magnanimity? I don't know. The Lush Charcoal Face Mask, basically. Um, I think I mentioned this in one of my videos when I was on about skincare, but I tend to use a charcoal mask around once a week and um, it just really helps declog my pores and the one that I've been using is Origins and I was in desperate need of a new one as a backup and I mentioned that to carry on and she asked in store and got recommended this which yeah I'm just I'm really excited to try this um, it's natural it's better than Origins I'm hoping <laughs> it actually smells really good it smells like mint magna minte Magnum Minty, it's called Magnum Minty. 
that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this when my current face mask runs out, but this is gonna go in my little storage box ready for it. So thank you again, Kerry. Okay, so a jerky present that kind of <laughs> isn't a jerky present, which was from my parents, is a Disney shop gift. And it's this incredible, oh, this one's in the way, there we go. It's this incredible um, Nightmare Before Christmas figurine set. So this has, how many figures are in here? There's quite a few. So there is nine characters in here and I'm really excited about this. Both Brad and I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I'm having a few shelves put up in my office and I just thought these are going to be really cute to dot around everywhere. So I'm going to have a few dotted around in here, a few dotted around downstairs I think. But I just think these are really sweet. Um, you've got all the main characters in there. So you've got Jack, Sally, Oogie Boogie, um, Zero. And yeah, I just think this is really, really sweet. Um, I know it was like a little bit of a jerky gift from my parents, um, but I love it so much. I'm so excited to, to get these out um, in the house. I think it's gonna be really fun. Another jerky present that I got was from my grandparents. Um, and the story behind this is that I, well, one, I love baking and I love cooking. Um, and two, I started my own little bakery business last year um, throughout the lockdown and all that kind of stuff. And so my granddad thought, <laughs> oh, he thought he'd get me a little chef's hat. And this provided a barrel of laughs on Christmas day. Um, yeah, this is my little chef's hat. <laughs> Definitely a joke present. Um, but I actually, I think it's really funny. Um, it came with an apron as well, which is going to be really handy. It's just a plain black apron. Um, but yeah, my little chef's hat. I think it looks quite cute. Um, but yeah, I just, I love how kind of jerky this is. And I probably will put it on at some point and we'll have a good few laughs out of it. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Another fabric kind of item that I got uh, was from Brad. Um, it's covered in dog hair because it's black, but it's a tote bag because we've been using tote bags a lot uh, recently. I always make sure to take them everywhere with me. And this one is a Schitt's Creek one. So it says Rose Apothecary, um, handcrafted with care. And it's got the little logo on there. And I just think this is really, really sweet. Um, as you can tell, I've already no already used it. It's covered in dog hair. Um, but it's really nice. It's a really nice kind of length on the arm. And then yeah, this is just super cute. And it's rose gold, which I love. So yeah, this was a really sweet kind of like thoughtful gift. Um, so yeah, I really, really like that one. Okay, skincare and home things from my parents. Oh, I still can't believe my mum got me this, but I got a neon candle. So I love, love, love neon. I used to work in a spa and we had these burning all the time and I used to buy them for friends and family and the scent just reminds me of that and oh, it's just so nice like it really catches you in like the back of the throat but like in such a good way um so it's the neon real luxury scented candle it's the three wick it smells incredible I've already warned Brad that we can only burn this in the bedroom or if we're downstairs having like a really really chilled night it's not a candle that we throw on all of the time um but yeah i just i love neon i love their scents i love oh i just love everything it just it reminds me of a good time in my life and the smell is just incredible so i'm very very lucky to have this thank you mum. um as well on the candle theme i got a little fern cotton happy place gift set um so my mum knows to buy me this because it's vegan and it's part of the boots kind of gifting range so thank you mum for for taking that into account um and in this gift set there is a few bits i've not really opened it i've taken it out of the bag but i've not opened it um so there is a sleep candle which is really cool i just love candles and then there is a little like gift pack which has oh i can't open it now Okay, so it's all the sleep scent. I've got a mini body lotion. A body wash, which is actually really handy because we don't have any body wash at the minute. 
There's also a bath soak that is going to be very handy. I love scents when I'm in the bath that really relax me and really send me to sleep. So that is going to definitely be used. Oh, and there's also a pillow mist. I wish I knew about this the other night when I couldn't sleep. Um, that's really cool. I love, love, love pillow mists. I think they're really handy. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, good shout, Mum. This is a good pack. Thank you. Okay, another gift from Brad. Um, and this is another really thoughtful gift. Um, so I mentioned that I started my own business last year and he managed to sneak onto my computer and get the brand logo. I don't think this is going to show because this camera doesn't focus, but he got the brand logo um, as a stamp, which is really cool. So I am going to be stamping all of my boxes now. I'm going to start doing bags so I can stamp my bags. Um, but yeah, this is just such like such a thoughtful gift, sneaking onto my computer and things. So I was really, really happy when I opened this because I had been thinking about getting a stamp. Um, and it saves me buying more stickers, which obviously includes printing and ink and paper and all that kind of stuff. So that will be a really nice little addition to my purchases. So one of the things that I asked for this year was a necklace. I really wanted a new kind of everyday necklace that I could wear, but I wanted it from a small business or kind of a, a female led business, that kind of thing. And my mum got me this necklace, which is really, really cute. I'm happy that I'm filming this video because it means that I can wear it. Um, but it's this really nice little necklace. Again, I don't know if it's going to show, but it says serotonin and it's got the little like chemical composition of serotonin. So it's a bit of a longer necklace. So yeah, it's just really nice. It's in sterling silver. I'm going to pop that on probably tonight, actually. I'm, I'm really happy about this. Um, I think it's really cute and it's going to make like a nice addition to just like an everyday outfit. So I also got two prints this year um, from, oh, I got a sticker. I love stickers. Have I not looked in this properly? Like a lot of stickers. Oh, I'm, I just love anything with stickers in it. So what I was going to say was I got two prints this year, one from my mum, one from Carrie Ann, uh, my friend who I've mentioned before. So the one that I got from my mum, she actually found through Tim Tracker's channel when they were doing the um, time to help at the end of their videos. And it's this really sweet Little Mermaid print. So somebody draws up Little Mermaid. Um, I just thought this was really cool. If I can find, or if I can get the name of the artist from my mum, I will tag this below. Um, but I just thought this was really cool. It's a nice little gift. Um, this is obviously my office now, which is also the spare room. So I'm going to pop it up in here and find a little frame for it. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was really sweet. And then on the exact same theme, so still a little moment, uh, Carrie Ann got me this print, which we saw on Instagram. And it is of the castle in Little Mermaid. I'm sure there's a name to it. Name for it, sorry. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. It's a print of a painting by one of the tattoo artists that we really like based in Liverpool. And I just, I loved this. As soon as I saw it, I think Kerry tagged me in it. And as soon as I saw it, I just loved it. And I thought it would go so well in this room. Like, look, it just adds with these pop of colour it's really cute um so I'm either going to try and get this in well I'm going to put it up in this room or I'm going to try get it above the bed in the bedroom I think I might have to really persuade Brad to do that but we're going to see and either way it's going to be printed and put on a wall somewhere because I love this print I just think it's really nice the colours are beautiful the drawing's great um so yeah a big theme there with Little Mermaid and what I noticed when I opened that was I've got lots of stickers from the tattoo studio. So the girl who um, did the print is called Rachel Baldwin and she works at Bold at Brass Tattoo, Bold as Brass? What is it? Bold as Brass Tattoo in Liverpool. Um, so I've got quite a few stickers as well. So I've got like a little face. I don't know what that is, but it's a little face. There's a little burn book with her name on. And then I've got two stickers for the tattoo studio as well. That's really cool. I love things like that. I love it when they add like really little touches in. If I put, I'll just drop them all on the floor. Okay, so one of the bigger 
gifts that I got was a pair of shoes um, and I actually got two pairs of this pair of shoes. Um, one of them was from my grandparents and one was from Brad. Um, I've kept the ones from my grandparents and then we have returned the ones from Brad and got something new with it which again I will show in my January sales video. Um, but they are bands. I haven't had some new bands in years. And as soon as I saw these on the website, I knew that I had to have them. They were beautiful. Um, I, I really like the bands that have patterns on them, but I'm always worried that I don't know how I would wear them. Um, but these ones, as soon as I saw them, I was just like, I could wear those. So they are the black slip-on bands. Again, I don't think it's going to show. I might have to try to do some product close-ups. I'm not sure. Um, but it has like a floral camera cut me off. How rude. Um, but yeah, I was showing you my bands. So they have this really cute floral detailing on the side. The only kind of main colour in it is red. Everything else is quite subdued. Um, and yeah, they're just the slip-on design. The little black bit at the back. And I just, yeah, I just love these. I can't wait to wear these. I thought they'd be really good for um, England. Um, I wear Converse and Vans all of the time, um, especially in like spring, summer, if I'm not wearing sandals. But I also thought these would be really good for Florida um, if we can still go later this year. Um, but yeah, I just really liked those. And I'm, I find it hilarious that I got two pairs. So my grandparents got it me based on my Christmas list. My boyfriend Brad got it got them for me because I just kept mentioning them every time we went into a shop um <laughs> so yeah that kind of summarizes me pretty well and then the last two things that I am going to show you are books I always ask for books for Christmas especially kind of hardbacks and things like that because I prefer getting those at Christmas rather than paying for them myself um the first one that I got is skincare by Caroline Hirons so many people have talked about this book. It went around everywhere, kind of at the latter end of last year. I used to be obsessed with skincare and I still enjoy it. I still got really into it, but I feel like I've still got quite a lot to learn and I need to kind of get back into it a little bit more. So I thought I would get this book to learn a little bit more about it, like get a bit more of a routine, understand my skin a little bit better. Um, and also it's just really cool. Like it's yellow got a little bit of camo on there. I just thought it looked really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to learn a bit more about my skin. Um, I'm gonna actually read this like a book, I think. So I'm excited to start that. And then the other one that I got is another hard back and it is Chessie King's Be Your Own Best Friend. So I have followed Chessie for just over a year now, I think. Last year, I really made the effort to kind of take diet culture out of my life, change up my Instagram so that it was better suited for me and all that kind of thing um, I'm very much on a body positive movement at the minute and I just thought this book would be really cool it would really help me with that I really like Chessie's approach to things so yeah this was just I've heard a lot of good things about it again and I just thought it'd be a nice little addition to my um, book collection and also just a nice start to my kind of body positivity book collection that I want to build um, again a nice pop of colour, nice bit of like, what's that called? What is this called? Foiling. Nice bit of foiling. Um, so yeah, two books that I really wanted last year and just thought, you know what, I'll ask for them for Christmas. Okay, so that is everything that I'm going to show you that I got for Christmas. Um, as I mentioned, I did get a few other bits. I've also got bits missing because I haven't had Christmas with everybody. Um, but those were just the bits that I kind of picked out to show. Um, I hope everybody managed to have a lovely Christmas despite everything going on, especially if you're in the UK. I know that our Christmas has kind of got turned on their heads um, quite quickly. So I do hope that you managed to have a good Christmas. Uh, let me know down below what you got for Christmas this year. I'd love to know. I'd love to get some ideas as well because my birthday is coming up. Um, so I'd love to have a few more ideas. Um, if you've got any book recommendations like this as well, please let me know. And that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the new setup. If you have any suggestions for what I can do to make this back bit a little bit more interesting, I think I need to film in a morning because this is not great, but we'll work on it. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions for kind of what I can do, any suggestions for videos as well, please let me know. I do have a list of things I wanna do, but I'm always keen to 
you know added the bits into it um and yeah that's it for this one so i will see you very soon with a new video bye this feels really weird literally so much beige behind me i did not <laughs> think this through okay so while I was on the, the Lush theme, oh it's made me have an itchy nose. Is that better? Kind of. Oh I've got a really itchy nose. I should have done Lush last.